Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about DOT. Yeah, here on the DOT chart, we have not really seen any strength today. Some altcoins are already on the move to the upside. Um, DOT not really, DOT not really. DOT is still trolling the support area, which we talked about in yesterday's video. It's defined between $3.85 and $4.37. We see here the structure from the 5th of August low. Yeah, so we have a, an initial rally and then a pullback in what could be wave two. But the microstructure isn't entirely clear. My view is that it is possible that we had an initial A wave down. So after the wave one topped, this is now from a bullish perspective, right? So if we say, okay, we had a correction, this here might have been wave one to the upside, then this here would be possibly wave two to the downside. Um, the support levels are clear, but then the wave two is, as you might know, a three wave corrective pullback. So there are many ways how this microstructure could unfold. Understanding the exact micro patterns in a correction, not so important. What is important is to understand if the bulls are turning up before we're breaking below $3.85, because that is key support. The red line here indicates the structural support, previous structural support from Wednesday, the 7th of August. And the B wave that I'm tracking here could be unfolding as an A, B, C structure itself before we then go down further. Yeah, so wave one to the upside and then wave two as an A, B, C structure in wave two before we go up higher. So that's, that's how I am tracking this. And of course, you know, we could go up at any point a key breakout point to the upside would be the high of the wave one, which is at $4.93. We can indicate that with a green line. We could call that an upside breakout point. As you can see at the moment, we're moving in what looks a bit like a sideways range. And we need to get out of this sideways range next. So the next target for the bulls therefore would be a push above the recent high here at $4.93, $4.94. And the upside targets, do they have to be adjusted slightly? I mean, they are only mathematical projections based on where the price is currently. So if the price makes another low, they would have to be adjusted lower. They always, you know, this target, let's say the projection for the third wave, which is the 1.38 extension or higher, in this case, $6.82 or higher, will rise and fall with the low of the wave two. Now, if the wave two goes a little lower, it has to be adjusted. Again, at the moment, it's $6.82. It really only becomes really meaningful once we start to break out of the local range to the upside, because then we can assume that wave two has bottomed. And that would then be a, let's call it a, a reasonable target for a third wave, a mathematical projection. And for now, I think all we have to do is just to wait for the market to break out of the range. At the moment, it's just meaningless price action and there won't be any major move until we finally get out of this range. And again, to the upside, it's the $4.94 level, to the downside, $3.85. Um, if we form another low, then here $4.37 is support. Well, we pretty much already touched that. So the next level is $4.21 and then $4.06 and $3.85 below that level. We have to assume that we might see another low, actually another low, not only locally, but below the 5th of August low. And then this will possibly even then lead to yeah invalidation of the bullish scenario overall. Doesn't mean the market couldn't go up anymore, it could, but maybe it's only going to rally in corrective structures than in the bull market. But we have to take it level by level at the moment. The focus and the question is, if the bulls can turn around um, the ship, you know, in this, in this support zone to, to get a bit of a breakout there to the upside. That's the update about DOTS. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.